Hi all of you, myself Shibin Krishna. Uh, today I will be going to discuss about the film metric. Uh, so I will be giving a brief overview about the training for the film metric system. Mm, this is the SOP for the film metric. Uh, so this system is basically used for measuring the thickness of the ground film as well as the refract index. So it measures with the principle of refracting uh, reflectance measurement. So let me show you the hardware part. Uh, this is the sensor uh, for detecting the re uh, reflectance and this is the light source which include deuterium and tungsten lamp and uh, these are the standard reflectance uh, samples uh, in order to calibrate the system. So first of all what we have to do, uh, we have to connect this uh, power supply for the source, it is connected here so we need to turn it on. So after turning it on, on the front side we have different switches. So there are different switch on the front panel, these are for the lamps as well as for the shutter, this is for halogen lamp, this is shutter, this is deuterium lamp. So please uh, wait for some time for stabilizing the lamp. So after turning it off on the lamp, we have to connect the detector connection to the computer. So this is the USB, USB connection for that. This is the window for uh, the controller for this film metric system. So just double click this one, it will pop up this window, so here we can control and operate this uh, film metric. Yeah. First of all, we need to calibrate the system by using the standard samples. So these are the standard reflectance sample. So we use one of the sample to calibrate the system. For that, we need to measure the baseline. So go this mm, baseline measure. So we have to do the baseline. So after uh, clicking this baseline, it will pop up this window. So we need to take this BK7 as a standard reflectance. Place this standard sample here and click take reflectance standard. Yeah, so now the standard uh, sample has already been measured. Now we have to take it out and take the background. Yeah, after finishing this background, then we can measure our samples. So as we measure the base, I mean reflectance standard, it can it will show show the baseline fitting, baseline. Um, status right now it is good so put back the uh, standard sample on this boxes then take one of our samples to measure the reflectance so this is a one by one sample which i have so i'll be going to place this sample on here now this sample is gallium oxide grown on sapphire so i have to select a specific recipe for specific sample so here we have already one recipe for gallium oxide on sapphire so we will choose this one and uh, we can edit the recipe from here so for analyzing this data, we need to have a, uh, we need to know a, the range of thickness uh, we have already grown. So according to which it will show you some reflectance, then we can fit it, then we will get the exact value. So I will just put 200 uh, tentatively, then it will measure the reflectance and fit it accordingly. And I just put 200 as a thickness, then press OK. So this solid line, this solid line represent the reflectance and this dotted line represent the transmittance. So we are going to fit this solid line as a reflectance, reflectance line to get exact value of the thickness. Right now it is trying to fit uh, to get a better fitness. Now it is showing 195 uh, nanometer thickness of the sample but the goodness of fit it is only 75 percentage. So we need to make it improve. Mm. So what we can do is we need to increase or decrease according to the number of oscillations we have. It is having only two oscillations. The thickness might be less than 200. So let's give uh, to 150 and to see how it is going to fit. Since it is fitting well, that means the thickness value is around 200, around 150 nanometer, mm. and the goodness of fit is around 98 percent that means it is fitted well and the thickness value is, is around 150 nanometer. In order to get accurate value maybe we can give uh, lower uh, error value and here also we can give, um, give some tunability here as well. Yeah, it is almost like same, it is 98.16 percentage that means the thickness is around uh, 150 nanometer. Mm. So after perform this uh, reflectance measurement, it will automatically fit it and we will get the value of thickness 
and here you can see uh, the further information like this is the refracting dust this is a k value and this is the goodness of fit and this is the thickness of the sample now we can save this data first we can save this data as an image file so click here so here we can save in the desktop we have file name data where we can have different users name uh, i'll put it in my folder and make a new folder okay now it is save the uh, image file you can also save the data file from here there is icon here save again here click this one and type your name name of the sample also you can save in different formats like uh, csv file text file as well as in spe file so the file the data is saved right now you can see it from here in the data date modified latest one this is the image file and other formats also you can visible from here so once you finish the measurement you can take out the sample carefully and gently and close this uh, with this box and turn off this light sources shutter and the duty and lamp as well and close on the back side the power supply you can close the window and also you can remove this uh, usb cable that's it for the filamentary training